Hi, and welcome to another episode of Build Your Own Meteor Center PC, where I like to do just dispatch, but I don't do the build scene as I can't afford it right now. So, basically what I like to do for these is to help people who are newer builders or just are too lazy to look up parts for Media Center PCs for different price ranges. But, anyway... Let's get started with the $325 Media Center PC for the month of November, year 2012. First off, I would like to get the case started with the Gigabyte GZ-F5HEB ATX Mid Tower case. This case so far, in my opinion, isn't too bad of a case for the money, since you do get 5 internal 3.5 inch drive bays. Three external five and a quarter inch drive bays, and a single external three and a half inch drive bay for like a card reader that you might want to put in if you have any extra money. So, and it's not a bad looking case either, based on what I've seen online. The reviews on it are actually pretty good. It's got a four star average out of 11 ratings from Newegg. So, the power supply will that will be used in this build is the Antarctic Earth Watts Green 380 watt power supply. The reason why I went with this power supply is because the price is right. 380 watts will be, which will be more than enough to power this system and for some upgrades later in the future. And also it is 80 plus bronze certified. So it will also be a decently energy efficient media center PC. The uh, motherboard I have selected for this build, which is a little cheap, is the ASRAC FM2A55M-DJS Micro ATX motherboard. Now, the thing that disappoints me with this motherboard is that it has no HDMI, but it does have DVI and, H and VGA to make up the difference. And it can also support up to 16 gigabytes of memory, which is overkill for Media Center PC. So, and it does support the latest Trinity APUs that AMD has recently released. And it does support Crossfire. So, if you want to put like a 6670 in later on, then it will be a good board to use. Now, it does come with 5.1. Surround sound, Gigabit Ethernet, a DVI and VGA DSA port, and four USB 2.0 ports. But like I said, this is going to be a basic build, so I don't see why you'd be want all that. But I sh could be wrong about that, so you can go ahead and criticize me on that. But most HD TVs these days ha do have at least VGA on them. If not, you might have to possibly purchase a DVI to HDMI adapter. Alright. Switch my head there. The APU I have selected is the AMD A85600K 3.6 GHz quad core APU. The reason why I chose this APU was because it has a Radeon HD. 7560D integrated GPU and it's also built on the 32 nanometer manufacturing process it is socket FM2 and the TDP of the CPU is 100 watts so the power supply that has been selected should be able to work with it not a problem the hard drive I have selected is the Samsung SpinPoint F4 320 gigabyte hard drive. The reason why I went with this hard drive is because it is $45 free shipping from Newegg. It's a SATA 3 gigabit per second, which is the older SATA, but it comes with 16 megabytes of cash. And I've heard a lot of good things about this hard drive, so I'd recommend checking it out. Alright, the optical drive I have selected is the Samsung SH-222BB-BEBE. -E. The reason why I chose this is just because it was cheap and it basically does everything you need it to do. 
based on other drives. The memory I chose is the A Data Gaming Series 4 GB dual channel kit. Each RAM, each RAM module has 2 gigs, making it 4 gigs, and the speed on it is 1600 megahertz, and the voltage is 1.55. So it's just a random memory kit that I would selected for this build. So and this will conclude the main parts for the pricing before shipping it is three hundred four dollars and ninety three cents however after shipping it comes out to be three hundred twenty two dollars and nine cents so you should be able to squeeze a DVI to HDMI dongle within that price range bringing it up to three hundred twenty to three hundred twenty five to around three hundred not three hundred but yeah three hundred and um thirty around there so you'll have a little bit of wiggle room there I hope this helps and I do apologize for the slight mess ups like I said I am still getting better if you have any other questions send them over to scullibus at gmail.com just let me put it up on the screen Alright. I'll make sure you can see it. Let's put it over my face. And I would like to thank you for watching and working with me since I am still an amateur. So I hope this helps and you have a good day.